One of the things that I like about QuickBooks Online Payroll is that I get an email reminder to go pay. And if your user ID or email address is linked to more than one in, you know, company file or subscription, it actually tells you. So it's my payday reminder to run 822 because I have it every two weeks. Actually, I think I have it weekly. Yeah, weekly. That makes sense. Employer tells me the file. Even if I'm the accountant and I'm going in, I would know what subscription or client of mine uh, needs to run payroll if I'm doing it. And then to create the paychecks and generate the stubs, I just go ahead and click on this link, and it's going to go ahead and bring me to the qbo.intuit.com login page. I'll go ahead and log in, find my company file on the list that has the payroll. Again, it tells you in the email, and that's really helpful, particularly if you're connected to several different QBO subscriptions or realms. And it actually brings me right to the employees section of the QuickBooks Online file. And now I can go ahead and click Run Payroll. Yep, right. Now Jonathan's on salary, so he's good. Um, what are you going to put in his hours? Again, it would flow over if I use the weekly timesheet, which it didn't in this case. And then Vicky, uh, I'll go ahead and put some hours too. I guess she had some already come over from that sheet. And then Deborah's there, has some in vacation. Of course, when you're on the employee itself, when you actually edit the employee, that's where you can choose, you know, what compensation or addition items, things like that you'll need. I'll show you that in a second when we're done, but let's go ahead and preview the payroll first. Oh, nice. It even gives me a warning. Deborah has used 56 more vacation hours than she has available. Well, I'm going to go ahead and cut the paycheck, but at least it tells me, you know, and at this point I could edit the info before I submit it. Once you submit it, you're not able to edit. So definitely hang on this page, make sure it's correct. I'm going to go into, uh, let's go into mine for a second. Not regular pay. There it is. Here's the taxes and the deductions. Health insurance, right? Set that up on the employee record. And during the payroll setup itself, I had an option to do that. Employer taxes. And then I wonder if I have any company paid contributions. Put a memo at this point. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And now we'll go ahead and submit the payroll. And on the next screen, here's where you could either print the pay stubs, uh, either autofill the check number, or type them in yourself, and you can go ahead and look at the actual paycheck or the stub. However, you can't edit it again once you submit it. And then I click finish payroll. So now let's take a look at some payroll reports. Go into you know, reports, all reports, and then I'm in manage payroll, which is its own little report section. And quite a few reports from time activity, tax liability, billing summary, payroll summary, total payroll cost, things like that. So quite a few payroll reports. I'll go into the detail one. Basically, you just see all the details from the payroll that we just ran on the last one. And now I'm ready to move on with other things. Like paying payroll taxes or filing forms. So let's go ahead and look at that quickly. And just to let you know, I'm probably the last person you want to be doing your payroll, as you can see. Uh, love how simple and easy the QuickBooks Online payroll is. So even someone like me uh, can come here and uh, run payroll, <laughs> pay some taxes. However, Deborah's already getting, you know, 56 more hours in her vacation she should. So probably not uh, the person you want doing the payroll, but I can still do it. So I'm going to go to taxes, payroll tax, and then here's where you can pay your taxes and also file, you know, your forms. So let's go to pay taxes first. Here I can edit my tax setup, view a liability report, tax payments I've already made, and prior tax history. Let's check out the tax liability report. It looks fun. Last payroll that I have and the taxes owed. Okay, we'll go back, uh, edit tax setup. Take a look at that too. And this brings me more into the actual payroll settings. Well, you can also get there by going to the gear icon under settings, payroll settings. Brings you to the same place, just so you know. So here's my general information, federal, state, electronic services. You know, I didn't have direct deposit. I don't have it turned on in this subscription. So I didn't see the option to, all I saw was to print pay stubs, but I would have seen it had I had it turned on. Uh, that would be electronic uh, services, pay policies. Here's the deductions uh, that I have, and I can add a new deduction or contribution. Uh, and we'll just take a look if I add a new, uh, the different categories you have, whether it's health insurance, retirement plans, flexible spending accounts, HSA plans, other deductions. Uh, and then, of course, the type based on that. So if I did health insurance, then I'd have some options there, the particular provider. And then finally, preferences.
again, brings me to uh, accounting preferences, paycheck printing settings, W-2 printing settings, email preferences, as well as group report settings. And of course, here's where I got my email reminder from this. This was what initiates it, this setting there. So I'm going to go back to my payroll tax, pay taxes, and these are the ones, the due date, the ones that I owe on, create a payment. That's how you do that. And then go ahead and are you sure you want to make this payment now? Click OK. I mean, I'm going to a production so I'm not going to do it just in case you know I don't want California coming after me even though this is totally bogus data but still uh, that's where you have it there um, if I were to go back now I can go ahead and file the uh, quarterly forms so I have the 941 and California form go there and take it from there now before I actually run this form it does remind me to, to make the following tax payment I'm going to go ahead and preview the return right now and there I am, 941 for 2014, employer's quarterly federal tax return. I'll go back to payroll tax. So either in the employees tab, you're running payroll, you're setting up your employees. Uh, let's actually go back there and, and look at just an employee's record as well. That would be important. So I'm going to go ahead and click on employees to head back there. And let's just drill in on me. Just click on the name. And there's a wizard you go through when you're first setting it up. Uh, even if you come over from desktop, you get payroll there. Since the, the desktop payroll and online payroll just don't talk, the paychecks come in as regular checks from the desktop. So your general ledger, your PL, your balance sheet. But none of the payroll-specific reports will show any data yet because uh, QuickBooks Online Payroll doesn't know. So you go through a wizard of setting it up. And, the, and check out my other videos on that one, post-conversion from desktop, how you set up payroll. And I walk through the whole wizard of setting it up and adding all my employees. Well, the employees will come over, but adding you know some of the, the tax items and things like that. So here are my details, right? It's where you can put in the social security number and here's my pay rate. You can have more than one rate obviously and set that up. It's my profile and then employment as well. And if I were to you know, edit the, the pay there for that employee, here's where you could see how often do I pay? What are my withholdings? How much do do I pay? So I can add additional pay types as well. Some people ask me where you do that. So I can also pay overtime, double overtime, sick vacation, etc. And then even more, not as common, but allowances, employee advances, cash tips, right? non-taxable per diem. I know that means something. So again, you can even add a reimbursement type for employee advance. Uh, the QuickBooks Online Payroll really does cover a lot of ground. So let's get out of there and go back to the employees window. Here's my employee list. That's where we started from, from that email. Hope that was helpful. Have a great day.